Knoxville clearance, Mooney 111 Zulu X-ray. Mooney 111 Zulu X-ray, stand by. Mooney 111 Zulu X-ray, you are all clear. Go ahead. That's it. You know, I guess flying through the air is just an unnatural thing for a human being. You know, we have a small plane which we use primarily for business. That allows us to support customers really well without taking lots of overnight trips and being away from family. Multiplying the power of what these small and medium-sized businesses around us can do, that's one of the things that really energizes me. I started this business in my office at my house with all kinds of equipment and computers jammed in one room. We grew slowly but continuously and built up a reputation that allowed us to expand into a larger building and begin adding more staff. This company was designed around the need for small, medium, and even large companies to remove projects quickly. The immediacy of the designer developing something and having their hands on it within days, within weeks, that is the energy that keeps productivity high in an engineering department. Ultimade took us from manufacturing approval into product launch faster than we've seen before. The engineering team here is uh, mostly mechanical engineers. I'm the only electrical guy. I do all the electrical engineering, so I do board design and I do um, all the firmware and software programming for uh, the different boards that we make. So Connor, you remember the PLC that we had in the first few prototypes of the concrete grinder? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it took two hands to shut the door on that box because that PLC was so tall. Yeah, took up so much space in there. Exactly. We're very quick in what we do and we can pivot really easily. So if some customer has some big issue that maybe will take a lot of time at other places, we're able to solve that problem a lot faster here because we're such a small, I guess, tight-knit group of engineers that work together so well. You know, it's really just the, the people within the room really are what make that possible. You know, you have everybody, everybody in, this building is good at what they do. So we were working with a company called SACE and uh, they make a concrete grinder and polisher. There were a lot of technical challenges for this project. One of the big things we had to overcome was getting a uh, CAN bus network developed into our board. They originally had an off-the-shelf part computing inside the machine and when they were getting ready to go into production, they found out they couldn't buy that part anymore. With Ultimate, you know, it's, a, it's all one seamless process that's right where you're designing the board. So you know the parts are in stock, you know that everything's gonna come together a lot easier. We quickly designed them a board that could replace that part, and uh, now they're getting to production on time and gonna have that part inside of it, and it's gonna save them some money. Knocking down the barriers to progress, that has benefit way outside of just saving a schedule. It has huge benefit both in, in cost, in, in energizing an engineering team, and even in retention of excellent engineering talent. We turn that output off. And that's what we bring. We learn from the, from the things that work and the things that don't work things that we like, the things we don't like, and we immediately reflect them back into the product design, into that process, and we iterate again. This facility has become a launch pad. Seeing progress made is one of the greatest benefits of being a designer. A good designer, a good engineer, they want to see stuff built. They want to see it in production. They want to see it finished. Transitioning from 
concept design into detail design into design for manufacturing and then transitioning right into manufacturing that is such a crucial part of the path for our clients we have to walk with them all the way through that you cannot design in a bubble and then think about manufacturing later pilots live by checklists they live by not not having to remember every piece of every process that they do but by looking through a written, established protocol. Knowing when our agile in-house iterative process needs to transition to an outside resource like Ultimate, that's a key decision that our project managers make. Our ability to choose the right solution at the right time can make us appear to have a reach and a capacity much larger than what we have in this building. That's, just, that's the only way to do it. It's the only way to move it forward quickly. Thank you for watching Altium Stories. If you enjoyed what you've seen, please give us a like and share the video, and don't forget to subscribe. We'd love to hear what you think, so please leave a comment in the section below.